pretty good. Yeah, I can see you. All right, to get them off, get your two Allen heads right here. Break them loose for your little access panel. And remove your two Allen heads plate. And right in on here, you have your grease fitting for tightening up the tracks. Seven eight socket. Just stick it over the main nut on there that's part of the grease fitting and just break it loose. So as you do, as you see, the tracks start to fall. Other than that, and to finish up, just step on it. it presses all the grease out of your piston and you fire it up. This time it's a good opportunity to check your bogey wheels, make sure that there's still no excess play and movement in all of them. Grease everywhere now. Alright. I know, naturally. Always. and tighten your <coughs> your grease nut back up. And tighten that down fairly tight fairly snug. Make sure it doesn't seep out. Alright, at this point, you start in reverse at the front, get it lined up, and start to get it half on, and then you just run the track in reverse, and slowly walk it on. Be careful not to catch your fingers. on your cog wheel good and straight where it's supposed to ride. Then just get your grease gun and retighten them back up. And as you can see the track comes up pretty fast. And I'm sure in the book there's probably a specific pressure to put them at. I just tighten them up until the grease gun doesn't want to pump anymore. Until it gets real good pressure on the handle and that's where I put them. Other than that, just reinstall your side shield cover and you're done. As you might notice, we decided to upgrade to the white non-marking tracks for 
hundred dollars extra per track they were 500 for the black and 600 for the white this way here we don't have to fight with plywood trying when we have to cross the driveway and leave the little dots everywhere we still we still use a 4x4 sheet of plywood to make any kind of 90 degree corner even on grass just because it's less stress on the tracks but this way here hopefully we won't have to lay out the plywood every time we try to cross the driveway but that's pretty much it nice and simple work that way there if you somehow for some reason throw a track out on the job all you need to carry is a grease gun Allen wrench, 7 8 wrench, and you can put it back on. Fairly simple, and be back on the road. Cut.